But there was a time when he was married and they couldn't do naming ceremony for their child. They gave people biscuits and water. Life is in faces. Sit down with light. You can't stay stagnant. This thing we are doing, it works. Many of you, I'm telling you, your lives are better than many of these patriarchs of faith. But you see, you must make sure you are as resolute. He said, follow them who through faith and what? And patience have done what? Inherited the promise. One time, Mama brought um, all her salary. So we gave it to him. He carried the whole salary, sold it as seed. There was nothing in the house. Baby food, everything they eat, they don't have. That's how they say, don't worry, God will provide baby food. Somebody brought loads of serilac. That serilac, the whole family that was partaking of it. <laughs> you know when I thought, sister, I said, Father, I want to thank you for the prayer of a blessing with you, Lord. You know? <laughs> ah! Look at him today. Now, it sounds like, hey, that's how your life exactly will be. Stay with this part. Stay with this part. They are building the ark. They've not taken one offering. Money that does not respect economy is glimmers of light too. When you find it in God's word. In that period, I looked at it. And in that year, Solomon completed his house. And the house of the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 11. And then I saw it. I can undo multiple projects at the same time without fainting. That was the end of being afraid of, I have this project. If not, by now, I'll be under personal pressure in my life because of church project. Now, when we have entered the realm of hundreds of years, my spiritual father does not have respect for money. That's why I like talking to him. If we say something like that, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will say that, yes, sir. I will say yes, sir. I will speak in tongues. Yes, sir. Papa, 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 they say, there's one land we are prospecting. It's 100 million. So, you know, at this level of new projects that we are trying to do in English. Because this thing I'm talking to you about is last year. Now, you know how my own art is enlarged in your own eyes. But I entered another level again. And the limitation of that level wanted to come and talk to me. At every level you get to, there will be limitations that want to talk to you. This thing I'm saying, you must hold it for every level of your life you get to. You will need it all the days of your life. Say, so, sir, how do I position? The first time I asked that question was 2022. Because I saw it coming. From 2022, I had seen the property phase coming already. Because it doesn't make sense to move from this building to another rented place. And it doesn't make sense to continue here rented. It becomes a problem. You know what you have been in the house for 30 years. You know how it starts looking. You know, I say, sir, you know, we have arrived too early, sir. But thank God for you, sir. And I like to arrive early so I can have better problems. Because some people, you know how they used to live like, you remember one of those young men that somebody came and told, one of those ministers young men, you are running too fast, calm down, take it easy in life. You know why people used to do that? Because they know that they will get to faces like this. Prolong that face. Don't run too fast. So that you don't get to where you need what you cannot undo. That, that's why when you need to build, make sure you're like 50. So, you know, you will take your time. Then Dominion Center will enter it in 2030. And at this Dominion Center that you have overflow, don't be in a hurry. Because now, you buy AC, you will need diesel gen. You buy diesel gen in Nigeria of today. What of in heaven of today? I've never prayed for diesel money since this JNK. Never. And you know, we're about to buy this gen. This was 200 and something naira per liter. I mean, the week we bought it, it became 700 per liter. My heart wanted to... My heart was nice. <laughs> That's fibrillation. I said, what's that? The valve is open and closed. I said, will you stay intact? No shaking here. Give me normal sinus reading. Not one day of prayer for fuel in this church. Not one day. I don't even ask how much is fuel. I don't even know how much they are selling diesel now. What am I using it for? It's light too. May light reign over your life. But now, I looked at it, we had arrived early. Early, you understand? 
by the reason of the speed. At, I'm not up to 30. We are talking about property. You know, there are people that say, oh, Tell your pastor to calm down now. He, he's still young. He's, he needs to calm down now. now. He's not running ahead of himself. This thing is the next thing. I meet any minister, that's what they're asking me next. In fact, one day I was with a major pastor, you know, in one of the mainline denominations. He said, Hey, so when are you people getting your property? You know, I thought she was joking. So I said, Well, we are searching for some properties, you know, which was happening at that time. You know, we found one there saying about, you know, 100 million. She said, That would be a good type of. I said, ah. Does she not know that we grew up together? Like, does she? He said, ah, yes, 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 that's very good because, you know, you should be able to get the place, you should be able to build the church, build mission house, put, uh, you know, maybe even put hospitals. I said, ah, excuse me. The thing is that when you come and you look around, what is left? What is left? Do you know that the city thinks we have bought this place? In the city? You say, ah, that's your, they are, they are bought. They are. <laughs> then you now come at five years after. We are moved to tent. Which tent are we? Are we Abraham? So, so, so Johnny in the land of promise. So, <laughs> so when I saw it coming, 2022, I carried five thousand dollar seed. Are you seeing? That five thousand dollar, you know, I just it is that time that I just lost millions. I just lost millions, and I was saving that money for the millions that I needed to face in front of me, and it had been like five thousand something dollars. I just carried five thousand dollars and gave. I look up to heaven. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. <laughs> I put them on you. <laughs> all right, all right, bypass. <laughs> ah, but I've worked on this. Auto. When you see me flying plane up and down, I deserve it. What I've done to get light for you people. The bushes we have passed in the night just to be able to get to meetings. So that we can hear God's word because of you. If I fly private jet, I deserve it. So, I asked you, oh, the Lord, oh, $5,000. So, you know those type of CD, they pain. You know, there's a way that ah, I've released my faith. Sir, how do I position myself strategically? <laughs> that was my question. For this next phase, for the billions, you know what he told me? Say you are already positioned. Kaya Bateasa. Mene Deasa. That is act enlargement for the next phase. This thing that you are seeing me come and say, we are buying up our building. I didn't used to talk like this before. You all know me. The good thing in this church is that we all live together. I say, but we don't live in the same house. Uh -huh. Who have you been with in the last 20 something days? How many hours are you sleeping in your house? How many hours am I sleeping in your house? Where are we spending more of the time? Is it not in church? We live together. You know me, I know you, you know when I say that, where by the grace of God we are trusting God, then you know when I just come and say, look, this thing is done. That time, I could not say it's done, no. I said, sir, how do I position myself? He said, you are positioned already. He said, God has given you an iron basket. Your prosperity is preserved for generations. It is ensured forever. He said, you are positioned already. He said, when you think of one car, people will bring three. When you think of land, people will bring... People of God, I have land that I've never been to. Some have been. Do you know that I have land in Jalingo? In Jari. Three plots of land. I wish I can cut it and don't bring it to this. <laughs> With C of O, sir, we have given you this land. I'm not a real estate developer, I'm a preacher. So imagine I'm, I'm, I'm traveling. How are you going to I want to go and develop my property. What of my people's lives? Imagine on Sunday, and next Sunday, I'm on site. <laughs> Building hostel. <laughs> like I'll be getting one million revenue per month. You know, find creative ways to convert your money into passive income. Build portfolio. If you get light, portfolio don't go bother you. Let this light I'm talking about lift you up. Portfolio will be the least of your problem. You hear my speech about that saying something like, you know, because I'm very busy. I'm trying to see how I can build a house in a year. Per year. He's not looking for portfolio. God gave them one house some years ago. And then, you know, then somebody said that, you know, maybe when you move from this house, you'll be able to rent it. At least you make two to three million per year <laughs> from rent. How can that appeal to him? Even in a day, Seth. Even me, son. I can see that I don't look like there are millions in a day. One day, if you just drop. May God give you the type of testimonies I have. 
I'm seeing people arriving with cars. You will come with car seed. In your own car. So it's two cars that are coming together. You are coming to dedicate your own. And to drop Thanksgiving seed. This year, loins shall be loosened unto you. I took those words in, right? Then last year, 2023, when we were approaching special and, you know, I was praying and all of that. And it was now really dawning on me that we are there already. Or that we were there. So I know that this 100 million, is there anything that you want to tell me that I need to do? Step of faith. Blah. He said, Pastor Tari, your heart is already bigger than 100 million. That's what he told me. Then I realized that every time he was talking to me, he was trying to wake something up that was in me that I didn't know. Because when you are sowing seeds, indeed, your heart has moved there. Can my heart not be bigger than How will my heart not be bigger than 100 million? That was my seed now. More than that was my seed, the whole of last. My heart is bigger than it. Talking to him yesterday, I called a particular prize in nine figures thing. He said, ah, ah, glory to God. That's amazing. I, in one month, now you can get it out. I said, yes. <laughs> I said, yes. Kaya <laughs> Bazatali. Is that easy? You hear people saying that, you know, save for the rainy days because, you know, one thing I've realized with money because there's money weather. Let's talk about money weather. There are times in a man's life where there's a lot of money. There are times in a man's life that there's no a lot of money. You must learn how to make sure that the time when there's money, supplements for it. Oh, God, you are learning nonsense. Money can come anytime. But it is the picture in your heart that is blocking it. Light must shine. Light must shine. There are some of you, even your good pictures can limit destiny. In church, family is important. In church, for members to know each other and love each other. Ah. You see churches where they care for people so much, they know themselves, you know, this sister knows this. No churches where you are just lost in crowd. Now you have become a pastor. To grow past 15 members, you are wondering what the problem is. Is the way you are too attached to this. You know, I like going to churches where everybody knows everybody, you know. And, I mean, it really makes, you know, going to church very easy. Now you have become a pastor. You can't grow past 15 members. What you love is not bad though, but the good has become the enemy of the best. I remember in UI, when I came, I said, this church is not a family church. Too. Because at that time, some people were giving the vibes of, it's not like it used to be before. You know, that time I was getting busier, and it was becoming obvious, and all the people that used to easily have time to meet me, and then they would just come and say, oh, pastor, how are they? they were not feeling the love anymore. It's not like before, you know, when there was so much love. When I was here in the whisper, I said, hey, 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 this place is not a family church. We start cell for everybody. Join one cell. Love yourself in the cell. Inside this big church, we will continue growing. Are we clear? <laughs> clear. Because <laughs> I wasn't going to allow them to tie me down. Technical members, old technical members. I sat down with them at the back of chapel, under a tree. I've been a meeting on a Saturday to just talk to them briefly. I told them, I said, follow me now. I said, follow me now. And that was the time they were shaking. That everybody was doing anything. Like, I see Pastor Tyre was one vagabond that was scrubbed down from mass and has come to cause problem on the earth. Don't follow him more. I told them, follow me now. Because the time will come now, you'll be looking at me from afar. I told them, I said, you'll be looking at me from afar. What we save you by that time is that I already know you now. I said, then we have like 500 members. I remember the number I called. That time, when I say 500 members, even you look at my shoe. <laughs> you look at my shoe. Say, but you actually have looked at me and I say, hey, 500 members. But today now, can I be saying, make sure you know me, make sure you know me, because very soon, it doesn't matter. We are in tens of thousands already. See, God is lifting you up. You know, daddy, mommy, two cars, daddy goes out with one car, mommy goes out with one car. How better can the family be than this? Look at peace. Daddy and mommy just come and just say, which car will you take? It's two cars they are talking about. Oh. That's how now you are married. You cannot do more than two cars. That was my spiritual father's story until he turned to his wife and said, 
hey, these two cars will not work anymore. The day me too, I said, hey, this one car, this will be driving, this about one car like this, we don't cough and stop. We will, the next thing we are happy. I, 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 I mean, I'm very pretty. I don't need to complain. No. There's no time that you see me that. I don't need to, you know that thing I said that Nigerian men used to do? When cars spoil. That they will come down from a car. You know, every, everybody, when cars spoil like this, as soon as they come down from a car, I don't know what the what correlation the left side or the back or the right side or the back has to do with a spoiled car. If cars spoil, eh, in the place where the car spoil, that's where it will meet me. I will just sit down inside the car and not be looking. I'm speaking in tongues. I don't call for somebody to come and pick me. I don't, even, I don't be thinking anything. I don't want to go home. Let me get to you. you know. One day we were driving to church. Great deliverance God gave my iPad. As we were driving, the front right tire removed for a workers' meeting. The car went out of my hand and then just moved from the side of the road to the side where it could park easily. By itself. And then an angel of the Lord stopped it and it did some assault. I was waiting as he came, I said, thank God, pack my bag. Enter, somebody was there that would help us wait to the car. No problem. I've gone. I didn't think about the car again. The remaining to be repaired, but my heart is not beating. God has blessed us. This year, may nothing scare you again. You look at your house, you say, let's change the door. You look, you say, this bed, I'm tired of this bed. Just move this bed out for me. You look up again, you look at it. What else? This house is too hot. Can we order like three ACs this week? That's where you are getting to. That's even a small place to get to. At least start from there, no problem. But you are going beyond that this year. In six months, God gave us four cars. Four cars went through our hands. Four. Somebody met me, they say, Please, Pastor, I, I say yes. I want to give my car. What is putting people under pressure? It was not like this before. Something shifted. Glimmers of light. No matter what you are going through, stay there. If it is sickness, keep looking. By whose stripes I'm healed. I'm healed. That you first of all believe it is glimmers. If you continue paying attention to it, it will get brighter. So as God's word comes in glimmers, take it in. Take it in. It will become brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Don't get discouraged because it seems as if nothing is happening. And then, the way you will know that the glimmers of light has its maximum production is that God's word will now start talking back to you. You have been looking at it before, by which stripes I am you, and you are staying small, small, it's getting brighter. How will you know you have gotten to maximum production? Then suddenly, it comes back. Surely, if it is surely, it can't be any other way. That's God's word has spoken back to you. That is, the writer of Hebrews said, he has said in a place, I will never ever leave you, never ever forsake you. He was meditating on that and said, the response, so that we can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man can do unto me. How do the two tally? He has said in a place, I will never ever leave you, I will never ever forsake you. The response came because the word spoke back to him. From today, may the word speak back to you. As you are saying the word of God, these glimmers, as you stay there and you are saying it, suddenly the utterance of the mighty will come out. It's in that response that you start really, that power will come out of you. I was there. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches. I was saying it, praying in the Holy Ghost. Then one day I said, wait, not according to my needs, according to his riches. Wow, God is not supplying my needs according to my needs. He is supplying my needs according to his riches. I started rejoicing. God's word had talked back. Bigger mountains of financial needs came. I stayed on with that word. And then out of it, I looked. I said, wait, according to his riches. Wow, that means that there is more where it came from. That means that any miracle I've experienced, and it looks like I now have bigger need, that glory, you know, they go bankrupt. It is still working. There is more where the previous ones have come from. And that's how that word came out. There's more where it came from. You know that there's more where it came from. I've traveled to US. I've not gone to US, so it has gone. I've never been to UK. There's more where it came from. It has collected visa. It has gone. It has gone to everywhere. You just even, they don't even know the origin. They just, there's more where it came from. You don't even know the origin. Somebody was passing by her sister's room. That message, resources from impossible place, plain, and then there's more where it came from. She didn't tell the sister, she just passed though. 
And then the sister heard it too. That's how the sister started saying it, sharing it with her friends, sharing it as scripture of faith with the friends and all that. Then one day this lady put it on her status. There's more where it came from. The sister now slid into her DM and said that, do you know that this word is what blew out my business? When words from God will start talking back to you, many of you have had your own different encounters. Those words carry power. So in your life, don't abhor fear. If there's fear, something is wrong. Stay with the glimmer. Stay with God's word. Any area that there's fear, stay. These glimmers are the foundation stones of your life. Stay there. Stay there. God will be able to speak to you because you are staying. Because let me tell you something. Many times, God wants to speak to people, but he cannot speak to them at a certain level because of their current level of light. Jesus said, I have many things to say unto you. He didn't say it is too many. He said, but you cannot bear them. So there are things that are not said because people cannot bear them. What helps you to be able to bear large things that God wants to say is staying with the glimmers of light. Stay. Stay with God's word. Stay with God's word. Glimmers of light. As you do, you will see revelation knowledge will keep increasing and increasing and increasing. So mightily grew the word of God. And as it grew, how did it end? It prevailed. Acts 19 20. God's word is prevailing in your life. He said, The man Isaac, God blessed him. He became great. And then he went forward until he became very great how you start is not how you end you've had a beginning of a year that is already going splendid either in light or in manifestation or you have had testimonies before that's not the best of you there's something bigger there's a better job god has given you six thousand seven thousand eight thousand a month you can see twenty thousand i'm talking about naira god has given you two now it's time for twenty it's time for the two that was your sacrificial seed to become your tithe. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Lord, I enter into the better. I enter into the bigger. This year is my year. I'm entering into doors of rulership and favor. Pray in the Holy Ghost. I have a dear bag as a pretty big, pretty big, pretty big, pretty big, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. It's my year of the better. What has been withheld is released. The power of God is releasing what has been withheld. Supernaturally, your name is making the list. God is loosening the loins of kings unto you. Aya, they are opening the tulip gates, gates that cannot be shut. Aya, badiasa, filling your mouth with testimonies. Your heart with gladness. Giving advancement to your feet, giving speed to you, breaking delay. Aya, badiasa, God is giving you unspeakable wealth. Aya, badiasa, on all tribal worlds, I am. But he has already been given. He already been given by Atiaza. That's speed, though, because you are running into wealth in this season. God is making you mighty from within, making a thousand times bigger, making you swallow things, swallow situations, swallow places. I am. But he has already been given. This is the least you ever build. I am. But he has already. This year will be more seamless than the last year. Let the favor of God. Rest upon you. You are reaping a hundred fold. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. The canker worm and the caterpillar. And my great army which I sent amongst you. Now your baths shall be filled with wine. Your baths shall be filled with plenty. 
your bad shall burst forth with wine. Let me deliver Gabaya. You shall eat plenty in famine. You shall eat in abundance and be satisfied. And you will praise the Lord your God. Shh, for he has lifted you. I hear my heart as you walk towards me. Thou wilt arise and have mercy upon Zion. And Zion is your family. For the time to favor her, even a set time has come. For servants favor the dust thereof. God is rising now for your family, giving you favor. Causing his favor to rest upon you. Doors are opened to you, to your family. Your heart is carrying projects. Your heart is carrying projects. You are not painting. It's easy for you. It's easy for you. I speak the blessings of God upon every one of you. Let your name ring in the hearts of those that matter. May the Lord cause your name, the wind of your remembrance, to blow across the earth this night. People will sleep and see you in their dreams. People will sleep and hear your names in their dreams. You will wake up to your congratulatory mail. You will wake up to your mail of scholarship. You will wake up to see that the admission has been given to you. You will wake up to hear that your name has entered the list you have been long awaiting. You have, from this moment, entered into rulership and favor. You are sitting on thrones of honor. God is loosening the loins of kings unto you. They are showing you all shades of favor. All shades of favor. All shades of favor. On this mountain of prayer and fasting, every sickness that followed you inside here is burnt to ashes. Burnt to ashes. Be healed in your body. I drive every spirit of infirmity out. You are strong. In Jesus' mighty name. Promise me to do something. Speak the word of God always. Prophesy with the prophet. Don't speak anything negative. Don't read anything negative. Keep your mouth from speaking evil and your tongue from speaking guy. Use your mouth to produce prosperity. And you see the Lord of the breaks rising for you in this season.